How's it going guys? It is Ryan and welcome to an F1 2014 gameplay round career. Now this is a mod that I found and uh, should be interesting to see what the AI are like round here. And uh, I've got a few other tracks that I've uh, got onto the game so I'll be showing them off to you guys and I will find the link and I'll put it in the description as soon as I get it. So we're in the Ferrari Fernando Alonso for this race, and I'm going to be running the standard baseline setup just to give you guys a rough idea of what the track is like on this game with um, the 2014 spec cars. So this should be quite interesting. So we're going to leave the garage. We're starting P10 in this race, and I'm just intrigued to see what the AI are like in terms of pace to see around here. But if you guys want to see some long distance races around the round career, like 50% or 100%, let me know in the comments below. And I will get that up, and it will be live on YouTube as well, because I'm going to stream it for you guys. So for the race, Nico Rosberg's on pole, Raikkonen and our teammates in 8th, and us in 10th. So this should be quite interesting. But I like the graphics on this are really the same as 2013 are. So I think they might have just flung 2013's track and just put it on here. So the lights are going now as we go up to Rich straight away. And we're going to see how this goes as they're going to be coming towards Turn 1. The shortest part to Turn 1 and just break a bit. Hulkenberg holds up our teammates, so we're going to go on the outside of him. Up into P10. And we're up to 8th place now. We're just going to go down the middle of Nico Hulkenberg and uh, I believe that's uh, Bottas as well. Up into P6. Jensen Button up ahead. Down here. One of the tracks where you're going to be going up in 8th gear. Just breaking a bit early. Go down the inside as Ricardo blocks Vettel, which goes into us. But we'll get past Vettel and up to 4th place, so... The AI aren't that bad around here so far, which I've seen so far, but obviously we've got another two laps, to, another three laps to go, so we're going to see how this pans out. But so far, so good from the AI. Maybe Ricardo slowed down a bit, but met what matters the pace, and if it's any good, then I'll be doing longer races with these, doing special races for, the, for you guys. So Career obviously has been in the news recently about it coming back on the calendar uh, for, next, for 2015, but... If I'm honest, it's not really been a success. Obviously, the track's quite nice. It's got a mixture of straights and mid to medium slow corners as well. It's got really everything, and it's not a bad track. It's just the attendance has not been good for Bernie to say, oh, let's bring it back. And Well, the government have said that it's not really essential. So um, let me know, guys, in the comments below what you think. Do you think Korea should be back on the calendar, maybe? So let me know what you guys think. On there. So, so far, the pace seems alright. I mean, I've pulled a bit on Vettel behind as we've got Daniel Ricciardo ahead of us and the two Mercedes. So, reasonably, the gap's not that bad. It's about two seconds, two, three seconds to Hamilton, who is leading the race. As we're starting lap number two now, as a. Uh, but it missed the apex of two, but you don't hit that. You just want to get as close to the curb as possible because if you touch it, you will spin. On there. Plus the torque out of that corner is going to be ridiculous, so we'll see how that goes. Down the straight then again. Up, we're going to go past Danny Ricciardo. Obviously the speed of the Ferrari engine over that uh, Renault engine as we break a bit later than uh, Ricciardo. And up to third place we go. So the thing, there doesn't need to be a slight tweak to the AI in how to break into that hairpin corner. Next up is the Mercedes duo of Hamilton and Rosberg who are squabbling away as always. So it's somewhat nice to see that in the game as uh, we're going to go through this very technical section now, this left-right-left -left combination, I quite like it. Just missed the apex there on exit as we're going to go towards the fast-flowing section now of this right-hander completely flat, and then again in this corner in sixth gear. Then this left-hander drops it down the gear to five, just go off the throttle and back on again and drop it to second gear. On there. Not to hit the curb because you will lose the back end and then the traction will play its toll with the torque of this V6 engine. On and then this nice technical tricky double left hander here. You've got to get it absolutely right in third gear on there. And the tyres around here are quite demanding as the temperatures on the front right are so bad. You can see already there's a mark on the tyres on the right hand side. That's obviously including the mod, the tyre mod as well that I've incorporated into my career mode series. So it's good to see a, a very high demanding uh, tyre wear track and see the mod in effect, the tyre wear mod in effect and it's working nicely as we did have a slight lock up on the first lap so that's good to see so currently 1.6 seconds is the gap to Hamilton and Rosberg so that's quite good and Ricardo's gap's the same even though we get a fastest lap of 42.2 so 
on there. So my thoughts on this track with the, the uh, AI are very good, promising. It's good to see uh, someone's actually done this. So as I said at the start of the video, I will get the link again and I'll post it in the description as well in the video. And I've got plenty more coming uh, in the next couple of days. Uh, we've got uh, Jerez, we've got uh, India, Nürburgring and Brands Hatch coming onto the channel over the next couple of days. So keep an eye out for that guys. As uh, we're going to be going through this last tricky section for the final time. And uh, so far, as you can see there, that's what I was explaining about the curbs around some, some of these corners on this track. It's very difficult to get it absolutely perfect, but if you go over it too much, just the car flies and bounces and put the power down and your back end goes out. So, very tricky track this one, but quite enjoyable as well and interesting on strategy as well. In uh, the 50% races around here, we had in the Apex Racing League or AOR League as it was well known. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see um, how we how we do if we ever come back to this track and do some long distance races. So, coming to the final sector now, still the gap's two seconds, so pretty promising this is to see as we're going to come to the end of the race now as we're going to come through the final section of corners Hamilton will win the race from his teammate and we'll take third place actually considering we started 10th so it's good to see that on there so we're going to cross the line third place will do nicely and that's going to wrap this episode up guys so if you want to see more of these mods and any longer races around career let me know in the comments below and uh, any suggestions of track as well what you want to see that I want to do but let's try and get this video to 100 likes guys I appreciate it if you do and I'll release the next uh, track for you guys so until then please subscribe if you haven't already for more F1 2014 gameplay and mods and until next time guys we have in the world have a great afternoon morning and evening wherever you are and I shall see you for another F1 2014 video take care guys see you later